Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I really hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you so much for all of your continued love and support. I really appreciate it. All information about the channel can be found in my description box below. This is a timeless collective reading for all signs. Keep in mind that energy is fluid. Time is an illusion. All right. So whatever comes out in the reading could be related to anything in your life. It could be love, career, finances. Um, it could be anything. This could be your story. Or this could be the story of someone else that is in your energy or your environment, knowingly or unknowingly. This could be a past situation, a current event, or this may be a future prediction. He could be a she, she could be a he. Please only take the messages that resonate with you, okay? The Hierophant card came out. The world is here in the Ace of Wands. There's a, a major upgrade that's happening, okay? Um, I have to be honest. Um, I almost didn't want to do a reading because the last few days, I've been really talking about this very aggressive type of energy that's coming in, but I'm, I'm surrendering to it. And I think that we, as a collective, we should all embrace this energy, like really lean into it because, you know, people will tell you that you will always get the truth out of a person when they are under the influence and when they're angry. And I think that for some people, there is a need right now to fully express yourself, but true understand the true meaning of emotional intelligence and self-control. There's no need to be erratic or irrational, you know, out of control, but there is this burning passion and there's a passion here that a lot of people in the collective are currently having where, um, Getting closer to your higher self and closing out these cycles. Okay. It's a huge eye-opening experience. There is this, this uh, level of awareness here that is new to a lot of people. All okay? right. Here's a judgment and the emperor card here. This is calling judgment on the fact that right now it is time to be the emperor. And it doesn't matter if you're male or female. It is time now to have tunnel vision, it's time to set boundaries, it's time to be organized, it's it's time for people to clean themselves up more uh, professionally, it's time to be authentic, it's time to really, really know exactly what your purpose, what your passion is, and, and understand, you know, that sometimes your purpose, you may not always be passionate about your purpose. But that is where consistency and dedication come into play. And that's why this masculine energy is here in Aries season, this divine masculine energy. And it's an energy that, like I said, males and females carry. I um, actually want to say this because it's coming to me right now. Yesterday, someone left a comment on the video that I posted and I was talking about people tying up um loose ends and coming towards you and I was speaking about um I mentioned I said some people have like a star quality or they may be on platforms and the person by the name of Tony Ann and I'm calling her name out she commented on that video she said the only thing that comes to mind when readers energetically pick up new endeavors are starting a platform or becoming a tarot reader it's never pursuing medicine, opening um, an ALF pharmaceutical. It's usually some mediocre undertaking. You are picking up on a high value feminine, yet she's being minimized to a tarot reader. That's because you want to embody the true essence of that woman. No man is out here finding any reader captivating. And I, you know, I didn't think about this until right now. As I look at, at, at these cards, but if, if you hear what that person is saying, this is the energy that is in the collective right now that is so, um, 
it's, it's, it's a very prominent, prevalent type of energy right now of a lot of people who are still trying to judge and condemn others for their choices. And a lot of people who like Tony Ann here, and I'm, I'm calling her by name because I, I'm extremely um, triggered and disappointed by someone making a comment like that. A lot of people... We're having tarot church today. It's Sunday, April 2nd. A lot of people who lack any understanding about self-worth are typically the ones who like to tell you about value or people who don't understand how to even assess and evaluate what value is. They love to, to, to tell you what you are worth or what you are worthy of. And that is the, the type of distorted energy that you have to be very careful because that is the enemy speaking to a lot of people. You find your purpose in whatever it is, whether it's law, medicine, you working at the local target, you being a tarot reader, you find every single person has some type of purpose. And it's really sad that so many people carry this inflated ego who are conditioned to believe that they are in some way superior to other people. When in actuality, they lack all awareness. The third eye is, is completely closed and they're not aware of anything. This, this, this person actually said... <laughs> To be reduced to a tarot reader. First of all, you don't know who is behind these cameras that are reading these cards. Yesterday was my three-year anniversary here on YouTube. And, it, you know, I don't even want to sit here and, and, and go in on this type of person or this comment too much because it's... It's a way to bait me into sharing, oversharing things about myself that I don't have to. That only gives the enemy more of uh, more access. But let me just say that there's a lot of life coaches, tarot readers, ministers, motivational speakers, Reiki healers. Many light workers who are assisting some of your most high paid executives, doctors, lawyers, celebrities, people who care about health and wealth, they care about their mental health and their spiritual health over everything. And this person actually made the comment and said that pretty much a high value man would not be interested in a tarot reader as if a tarot reader, that is their only gift. And, and, and it doesn't matter. Like I said, you could work at the at the local target for another person who lacks self-awareness and consciousness to decide to judge your story by the chapter that they walked in on to me. Is very disappointing. How dare you call yourself high value? Because there is no amount of money or education that can teach you tact. There's no amount of education that, uh, that, that allows some people to actually have common sense. Common sense really isn't that common for a lot of people. To be bold enough to make a statement to showcase your ignorance like that. It blows me. Like I said, I don't have to talk about myself, but I know a lot of doctors and lawyers, <laughs> they wish that their YouTube revenue, they, they wish that their income after they got done with working those 24 hour shifts, and they had over $150,000 in student loan debt. They wish that they could have what we make in revenue. Some tarot readers who are truly gifted work less than 40 hours in an entire month 
and they make what lawyers and doctors make. And you think that that tarot reader, that light worker, that healer can't be in the room with millionaires and moguls? They'll be in rooms that you will never get in because your spirit, it'll never even allow you to get into a room. How dare you speak about value? You don't know how to assess and evaluate value. So how dare you try to tell someone else what they are worth or worthy of? You are a fool, an ignorant fool at that. I just want to say to any person, because like I said, sometimes like the masculine energy that we have now, you should have the confidence to speak up and speak out. Don't be afraid to be who you are authentically. I have a college degree. I left a very, very well paying job to pursue my passion, my purpose. I have attorneys in my family, immediate family, healthcare professionals, business owners. You could never call me just a tarot reader. You know nothing about a, a, a lot of people's portfolio of assets. You should worry about your mindset and how it's causing you so many liabilities in life before you dare speak on somebody else. And for people who are watching this video, don't let anybody tell you who you are and who you are not. Who you can be and who you can't be. If you feel like you are lacking and slacking in an area of your life right now, this is your time to grow, to ascend, to evolve, to heal. I don't care if you feel like you were given a losing hand or not, you can still win. God is your source. Don't let people and naysayers who are bitter, angry and broken because when they chose a certain path in life that they thought would grant them security and stability, they're getting your YouTube comments and they're mad because their profession is not being mentioned because you're coming from a place of ego. Your professional title holds no weight. Do you know your purpose? Are you anointed with anything? Do you even know what your passion is? People who can't answer those questions, don't let them keep you up at night. A lot of people now with the hierophant in the world, this is ascension here. This is growth. This is learning, like I said, to assess and evaluate what value actually is. There's tangibles and there's intangibles. A lot of people know nothing at all about assets versus liabilities. But those are the ones who like to talk the most. Confidence is very quiet. And I also want to just say too, be careful of a lot of people who are underdogs. Who push and promote being selfless, being the martyr. When secretly they are really jealous, envious, and upset that certain people are receiving rewards, recognition, and accolades for being in their purpose. A lot of people, they follow a certain path in life, and when, it, when they don't get to their destination, their desired destination, they switch up. They pretend that they're all love and light and they're happy. No, everybody wants to be rewarded and recognized for what they're doing. To some point of degree and some people are, are naturally just humble modest and selfless but don't ever make it a, 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 a point in life to think that if you downplay and minimize yourself <laughs> that it's going to gain the attention that you're going to earn some cool points you can be humble, but you never have to minimize yourself.
Don't be afraid to grow, to heal, to evolve. And call people out on their BS. Again, you can still have self-control, emotional intelligence. But I think that it's time for a lot of people in the collective, stop letting everything just slide. Stop making it a point to give people so much access and to let people think that it's okay to play with you. Because a lot of people like to judge people, like I said, based on the chapter of, of, the, of your story that they walked in. You don't know what the final, what happens in the final chapter. Some of you guys need to make sure, like I said, that you're looking at things clearly. Don't be derailed on your journey because of, like I always say, distorted perceptions and desires. Some people are, are aiming for things in life and they don't even know why they're doing it. It's because it's what their mama, daddy, sister, brother, cousin told them that they should do. Learn about the spiritual laws of success, especially before you get in my comments. Because if you know about the law of detachment, then you would detach from the idea that a lot of things bring about security and stability. Let me tell you about a tarot reader, a healer, a high priestess, a hierophant, a hermit. We will always be here to bring out uh, people out of a dark, sunken place. Sometimes a lot of people, they don't know how to do that for themselves. And anyone that watches my readings, the thing about it is... This is a spiritual community here on YouTube. So a lot of people who are coming to these readings, they are light workers and healers. So please forgive me if you don't feel recognized because I don't mention certain professions. I've had clients who who contacted me on a regular basis, business women in Dubai all over the world who come to me for consultations and coaching for mindset coaching to be in their purpose me understanding that god is my source and that i am a humble servant of god has gotten me in a lot of rooms that a lot of doctors and lawyers wouldn't they don't even know exist and it's not to say that being spiritual or being a healer makes you better than anybody and whatever you do, there's there's purpose. There's a reason why you're doing what you're doing. And people who try to talk you out of understanding your purpose, your passion, and your desires, you need to stay away from them. That is the enemy. Nine of Swords. There's no need for you to be stressed out, worried, or concerned. Nine of Wands, Paranoid, Nine of Cups, Nine, Nine, Nine. I told you guys, it's a solar eclipse that's coming in about two weeks. The energy is already real heavy right now. You're elevating, you're growing. God is allowing you to see the truth about yourself and about people and situations around you because there's a judgment call that's about to be made where you will be forced to quickly Make a decision to move in a, a different direction to go on a new path. You don't have to settle for anything. This lack mentality and mindset that a lot of people have because you've been conditioned to believe it because you haven't received what you wanted in life or what you felt like you were owed. Take this time now to release that. It's like that person in those comments. Those are the kind of people, like I said. They want to spiritually bully and spy on other people because they feel like although they've accomplished things in life, they still haven't been recognized and rewarded. Maybe you accomplished a lot of stuff that God didn't choose for you to actually accomplish, sweetheart. It's just like people in failed marriages. Why are you mad when, when that marriage fails? You chose that person. God didn't choose that person for you. So why are you mad? Take some responsibility and accountability for yourself. Anyway. 
The world is here with the will. Like I said, it's a turning point. There's no need to hold on to anything or anyone. This is a time to plan, strategize, build the four of pentacles. Go assess and evaluate your budget. How are you spending? If you want to see the world, do, or do you have enough money to travel? If not, then maybe you need to consider changing things in your profession or your life. Your lifestyle should shift and change where you can create more value for yourself by having more experiences and creating memories, having things that you can hold on to. It's time to release the things that have held you back so that you can go and actually pursue things that you feel are worth you holding on to. And that starts with, like I said, you finding out what are you passionate about and being very honest and truthful with yourself, having a certain level of awareness and consciousness to see that, yes, you are unhappy with certain things. Maybe you feel like you did take the wrong path in life. It's never too late for you to start over or to change. But attacking other people or allowing people to attack you, hmm, that'll never get you anywhere. I send that energy back to Tony and honey tenfold. Don't ever get in my comments talking like that. Because I read my comments. And anybody that feels that way on my channel, you can excuse yourself now. I, I, don't, I don't like for people to be judgmental. Because a lot of us here in the, the tarot community, spiritual community, everybody knows about church hurt. We all know what it's like to be broken, hurt harmed discarded by extremely narcissistic people in the church in organizations in relationships in family and the minute that like i made my post yesterday because yesterday was my three-year anniversary the moment that you choose yourself every demon from the pit of hell wants to all of a sudden target you like i always say the enemy never comes to rob steal and kill or destroy an empty house People only target you and, and, and speak real fly at the mouth when they know <laughs> that even though they don't act, know how to truly assess and evaluate value, they know they're not worth your time for real. Ace of Wands. The passion, new beginning here, creative endeavors, new businesses, new awareness, insight. Yeah. Look past this. Spirit is saying now, stop trying to create from a place of being broken, of a broken heart. Release that pain. It's time for you to see that certain things that are manifesting in your life, it is still coming from a place of you being triggered because of old trauma. It's time to release it completely. It's time for you to have peace, balance, and harmony. And like I said, and be creative. Go to the drawing board and start strategizing how you want to actually move forward in mastering yourself. A lot of you, this is for sure you taking your spiritual path and journey to the next level. Learning about your chakras, learning about how you are, how your soul is actually evolving, learning about how to protect your energy, learning how to speak up for yourself, learning how to be authentic, learning that everyone cannot go with you. Everyone cannot be in your space, understanding that you don't have to be molded and you don't have to be forced to conform to anything that you don't want to do. You don't have to team up and collaborate with a bunch of broken people, wounded individuals, people who are discontented, bored, and they've missed opportunities in life. These are the people who are jealous and envious of a person who actually has an open third eye, who has awareness. The people who sit around and, like I said, they don't receive rewards and recognition for the choices that they've made. And they're angry and upset because they've missed a lot of opportunities. So then they, they decide to throw their pain onto you with the three of pentacles because you are receiving rewards and recognition for the fact that you have teamed up with God and with your spiritual team to do what you are supposed to do, what God called you to do, because you understand that God is your source, not just your employer. 
So I feel like everybody, the message is you shine bright and don't worry about who is jealous, envious, envious or competing with you. It does not matter. The five of wands, like none of these people matter. These are people who have chemical imbalances and they are juggling their lives as we speak. They have no, no, no right to really speak on what you're doing. Again, a person who does not understand value can never tell you what you are worth. I don't care if it's your mother, your father, your, your, your children, your friends, your family. Nobody can tell you what you are worth. Do not allow yourself to be in a state of being just completely unbalanced and in limbo and unable to manifest and move forward because you are carrying a lot of karmic debt and baggage that is not yours to carry. So many people in the collective right now truly need to just release. Release this mindset, this idea here that you're wrong for loving yourself. You're wrong for doing things that you are passionate about. You're wrong for desiring true love. Because all this is is a lot of projection from a bunch of people around you who are too afraid to actually even walk the path that you walked. You have to get kick this devil out of your mind. And let's be honest, it's not always just other people. It's also the fact that we allow these type of people to actually dictate and control how we think and how we feel about ourselves, our choices and our actual life decisions. And you should not do that. Where God is taking you now is to a place of, that requires structure, order, power, authority. God is giving you more power and authority. But you have to show that you can manage what he's already given you. You cannot be easily shaken or broken. Like I said, don't, don't be in your emotions, Queen of Cups. Cut people off without warning. And when I speak on you or what you're doing, if you need to speak up, don't be afraid to do so. Nine of Pentacles. The Emperor, Nine of Pentacles, Four of Wands, Three of Wands here with the Magician card. Your ships are coming in. The Emperor, the Four of Wands, some of you, this is an excellent time to invest, start businesses, buy property, celebrate. Some of you will be having children soon, but you have a lot of financial ab abundance coming in. But see, the enemy is out right now to rob, steal, kill, and destroy and to tell you that what you've been working on, you know, your, your little business. Oh, it's not respected like a doctor, a lawyer, or an engineer. Your little business, though, will allow you to be at the bedside of your friends and your family when they are ill. It'll allow you to travel the world. It will allow you to be at home with your children. It will allow you to have peace. It will allow you to honor and to cherish yourself. That's what it means to be in your life purpose and to have passion. When you discover your passion and then it leads you to your purpose, it then will lead you to all the profits that you need. That's what a lot of people don't understand because they don't understand the spiritual laws of success. Don't let bottom feeders ever tell you how to get to the top. And that's exactly what the enemy is doing right now. It's trying to control the mind of people to have you stuck in these illusions of these outdated beliefs about yourself. Oh, I can't do this. Oh, I'll never be married. I'll never have kids or, you know, a person. They wouldn't want to marry someone that has kids. I don't have value because of this, because of what somebody said in some comments or on a podcast or whatever. Like, no. Put an end to this and walk away from it. If something is not serving you emotionally, if it's not fulfilling, you can walk away from it. Friend, family member, job, I don't care. Walk away from it. Go on your own journey. But do not be afraid to take a journey because of what someone else has said about it. The world needs light workers and healers right now. You have a lot of preachers that are in a pulpit and I'm telling you, they're getting readings weekly from tarot readers. Don't let them fool you. They're doing a lot of sacrifices to have the gift of prophecy, but they won't speak out about it. P 
preachers that in the, the, the largest mega churches, they have plenty of spiritualists on payroll, life coaches, therapists. A lot of them, their, their source is not God alone. Knight of Pentacles. This is a planning stage. It's preparation. But there is something new coming in for you 100%. Three of Cups. A time to celebrate. And a lot of you, seriously, you need to get away from certain friends, family, people who have a mindset where they want to, like I said, minimize you, criticize you. And it's really jealous and envy. But think about a narcissist. A narcissist is so angry that they can't love or truly experience love. Narcissists oftentimes are some of the most successful people because they need rewards, recognition, accolades, and attention to feed their ego because there is nothing in their heart space. But those are typically our leaders, right? <laughs> those are typically the people that sit at the head of the table. It's nothing wrong with you being a quiet millionaire. Being in your purpose. I can't tell you the last time I woke up with an alarm clock. You think I'll let somebody that wake up at the crack of dawn every day to work for somebody else tell me that I shouldn't be doing what I'm doing? <laughs> you think I'll let you, you determine my worth and my value? Of course not. Never. I would be a fool. Never argue with a fool because the person passing by, they won't know if you're the fool or... or or the other person. I'm not going to put myself in a position as a high value person to look foolish. Manifest what you want. The end of hard times are here. Something is moving quickly for you. There is good news. Communication, travel, opportunities to relocate. It's like the sky is the limit. Hey, man, you're going through an awakening. Yeah, there could be delays here. These delays are only here, though, because God wants you to look into something. Research. This is a time for R&D research and development. Get, get some more answers. Get some more clarity about a situation here. The thing about the hangman is that you can come down at any time. These delays are only temporary. You just need to see something for yourself before you move on to having all of this wealth, this abundance, this security, stability. You need to really understand why you had to go through certain things to break that generational curse. You have to understand why you have to first break the generational curse in order to then create generational wealth. Some people get upset because They've had to do a lot of things alone. But the truth is. Don't be upset about the fact that maybe you had to build a kingdom alone because now you get to invite people in and you get to assess and evaluate if they're worthy of even being in your kingdom. It doesn't matter if you're male or female. A lot of people have been on their spiritual journey and they've had to struggle, suffer in silence. They've had to have a lot of wins that they celebrated alone. And that's okay. Because a lot of people, they still don't understand how you got to where you're going. But that's justice. You will receive good karma for the things that you've done. For the fact that you had good character. Good intentions. In your hardest times. Times when you could have spoken out. And being mean, sad, angry, unruly, or, or projected negativity, you decided to be grounded and focus on building. Some people focus too much on BS and talking about the next person because they're in a mental entrapment about their own decisions in life.
because they don't have the strength and the courage to actually transform to experience a rebirth because they won't put an end to the things in their life that's toxic and get those people out of your life you're going into a season where you should be able to love and be loved that's the reason why god has you in a pruning season that's why you're in hermit mode right now and the towers are falling all around you and you're still able to sleep peacefully and rest rest retreat rejuvenate and allow god to redeem you because i'm telling you judgment and divine intervention is here there's nothing to worry about when you're actually in alignment Two of Cups, you're moving towards healthy partnerships. Some of you, yes, you are moving towards your actual kingdom spouse. The partner that you will build your life with, a legacy. And so the enemy, just like that person said, they will tell you, oh no, you're, you're not a, a high value person will never want to be with you. That's a lie. That's not true. It's a lot of high value men who will tell you that they they are seeking divine feminines and being a divine feminine has nothing to do with your professional job title it has nothing to do with what's on your rap sheet being of value is are you equipped are you anointed does god have an anointing in you and over your life do you know how to pray do you know how to manifest what can you do with the dreams and the visions that another person has? Do you know how to add and or create value? That has nothing to do with your money. What is your connection to source like? Are you disciplined? Are you consistent? Even a divine masculine is looking for a divine feminine who has a healthy Balance of masculine energy. Can you get things done? Do you know how to actually manage a kingdom, whether you build it or you inherit it? Don't let people talk to you about value or worth. The moon is here with the king of pentacles. There's an illusion here. For some, a secret. Yep, I just said a secret and the high priestess came out. You're about to see the truth for some of you about a king of pentacles. This could be a king of pentacles in your life. A partner, father figure, friend, lover, whoever. There's some kind of secret that's about to come out about someone. But also some of you are about to change your mindset. You may have had some type of an illusion. Some self-limiting belief or idea about what a king of pentacles is. What does it mean for somebody to be a protector or a provider? You're like, like again, just like that comment. Do you know what it means for somebody to be of high value? Have you been ignoring someone's actual spiritual worthiness and value because you were only focused on tangible assets here or actually a person's liabilities? <laughs> it's a lot of different ways to look at this situation, but what feels right to you? But you are about to get answers that's going to take you. An offer. There's an offer that's about to take you to a huge offer here. And for some of you, you are truly being chosen. Some of you, there's a king of pentacles here who is hiding the fact that they are watching you. That they are energetically and spiritually connected with you. A high value person. Who wants to be with a high priestess. For the people in the back who say that. To be a, a spiritual person, to be a light worker or a healer, you're not, you don't embody anything that a high value person would want. Hmm, interesting. Eight of Cups. 
Here's the King of Wands and the King of Swords, the Ace of Swords here. That's, that's three kings here. King of Pentacles with the moon. There's for sure something coming out about a person. Some of you are realizing that your perception or your desire for a person or something was based on an illusion. And you're walking away and it's going to lead you perhaps to the King of Wands. This king of wands, king of swords, to me, seems like this is actually the same person. This is someone, the king of swords, who is fair. They're just, they're a good communicator. They're not overly emotional, but this person is a leader. This person leads with logic, not with emotions. You're walking away from things that are superficial. People who think with, you know, ego. And you're going towards a person that they, they put forth action. Someone who is awakened, the owl is here. They have an all-seeing eye. They are awakened. They're tapped in. Their spirit, they, they go where their spirit guides tell them, but they are spiritually awakened and aware and able to use logic. This person acts. They take, this is a natural born leader. They receive messages, downloads, symbols, synchronicities. You've been waiting on this type of energy to come towards you. But I feel like you have to turn your back on some type of group or community, friends and organization in order to go towards this. Or there's a masculine here who has to turn away from an idea again everything ties in together it's just like that that message somebody the the collective now is starting to see value and worth differently what you have as the collective is moving into the 5d consciousness here what you have in a 3d doesn't mean anything you can be rich but you're spiritually poor and bankrupt I'm literally saying like Chuck E. Cheese coins. Like you can't play any games without with coins. But these are spiritual coins that a lot of people don't have. Like people say, when you die, you can't take money with you. That money won't get you anything. And 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 please don't don't think that what I'm saying is that you need to be poor to be spiritually rich no a lot of people like i said in their their purpose <laughs> their income their portfolio of assets it far exceeds and surpasses that of a lot of people who do not understand that god is their source but again we're not assessing and evaluating things based on physical tangible assets alone as we shift into a God love consciousness, that is not what matters. Rewards, recognition, accolades. If you have a blue check on Instagram, those things don't matter. There are high value people who are public figures who are extremely wealthy, who will go and marry a person who doesn't even have a social media presence. I just did a reading the other day and I spoke about some of you, you have people coming into your life and they want to live as quiet millionaires and billionaires. Some people actually want to do mission work. They want to travel. They want to, they understand the importance of being there with their friends and their family. Understanding that no money can pay for time. You can't buy time. So people have money that allows them to live their life in a way that they are proud of. Where they can march to the beat of their own drum. So if you are pursuing something in your life right now that allows you to have freedom, don't please don't let somebody else who has a slave mentality tell you anything at all about you walking away from the matrix and following your heart. That person is asleep.
this this it really bothers me because so many people have been conditioned to think this way and so people they don't even strive for for success and greatness in life so many people are refusing to be in their purpose because of what somebody told them a person who <laughs> has no real power, authority, or influence. Six of Cups and the Strength card. Hmm. This is having the strength, I feel, to cross the burning sands. It's like, there's like it's some kind of initiation. There's growth here. It's like a boy going to a man. Somebody here, like I said, is growing. They're understanding that how they assess and evaluate life and what purpose is and passion, value and worthiness is changing, is shifting. Yeah, the strength. This is like half, half lion, half woman. Like someone here is tapping into like the, the giant within themselves and understanding that they should be passionate and optimistic. And be willing to take a risk to go after what it is that they want. This could be you or someone in your life or this is just you guys as in the collective. Yeah, the Knight of Swords. This is taking action from a logical standpoint. This is someone being very clear in their headspace that they are moving out of this lack mentality. And what are they doing? They're going towards the divine feminine. The five of pentacles is poverty. This could be someone here who is currently nearly bankrupt themselves. They still feel like they have a shot with the divine feminine because a person can be financially bankrupt and still be spiritually rich, like I just said. Or somebody, the five of pentacles can have a poverty mindset, a lack mentality. Somebody is turning their back on this way of thinking and they're choosing to either become this divine feminine or to go towards this divine feminine. Because this divine feminine who has this universe within her, this is someone who has purpose and destiny over their life. They have an anointing. When you go towards a true divine feminine, a person of value, whether it be male or female, whatever you have, they can multiply. So let me tell you again, don't let a person tell you to buy because of your job title, where you come from or anything else. That you cannot produce good fruit. A person who probably is barren and nothing but rotten fruit falls off of their tree because they lack awareness. But they'll tell you all day that you, you can't you can't have certain things because you didn't you didn't take the path in life that they had. Let me tell you a lot of privilege. Privilege isn't opening the same doors that it was opening before. Not in this time. Not in this energy. Cheat codes don't work anymore. Yeah, the sun. Somebody knows <laughs> that there are women and men who who literally they, they carry the light. This is the anointing. This is being enlightened. People are going towards whoever or whatever sets them free. Even if they have to leave everything behind. Leave it all behind if you have to. It'll be working in the end. Nothing ever compares to you being actually aligned with God and trusting 100% that God is your source for everything. And just because you are a humble servant of God, that doesn't mean that you need to play it small. Abundance. Teaching, ascension, ancient wisdom, transformation.
boom, feminine energy. <laughs> feminine energy. Society has, has been misinformed. <laughs> and there's been a lot of misconceptions about what feminine and masculine energy actually is. What divine partnerships, what they truly are. Make sure that you're tapping in and you know what does that mean for you. What does that actually mean for you? How do you want to celebrate your life? What is a win or a victory for you? Not what anybody else says. But when you can tap into the light within yourself, then you can manifest anything. Again, it requires you to actually go through a transformation, tapping into ancient wisdom and allowing the ascension to happen. And you have to be teachable. And you have to be able to discern when there is false teachings and doctrines being presented to you to stop you from actually awakening and ascending. There's a lot of false teachings and prophets out here. And as a as a reader, but I'm certainly not only a reader. I'm not telling you that everything I say is is factual. Or to God, like, again, God is your source and I am not God. But there's a lot of people out here who have a very close connection to God and they are being asked to do the work to teach other people how to get to the kingdom. Because if you know that God is a source, then you know that you can for sure have a lot of abundance in life. But you have to be willing to go back to the drawing board. And like I said, really, really assess and evaluate what have you been taught about success? What have you been taught about love and relationships? What have you been taught about religion and spirituality? And you may find that some of the things that you've been taught is actually not in alignment with who you, who you are. And it's not in alignment with the visions and the dreams that God has given you. Don't tell, don't let a person tell you what to do with your bricks when they don't even have a blueprint yet. I just, this, this, it, it bothers me. I, I, I won't lie to you guys. It bothers me. Because so many people are doing things for the wrong reasons. And it's getting to the point where it's so hard to trust people because. People's motives and intentions, there, there's nothing pure about them. And it makes it very difficult when you see a person who truly embodies the divine feminine and or that, that true divine masculine energy. And they have that anointing. They have the gift. They have the part. Those are the people that are so often they're overlooked. I just said in the reading yesterday, yeah, I do believe that their roses can go grow in concrete and possibly in a dark room. I believe in miracles. I do. Because I know Jesus. I know God. But you have so many people who have been conditioned to think that they are actually in control. Their insecurity and ego has become so inflated that they truly believe. That they are in control, that their way is the only way, and that they actually can tell you what to do and what not to do. As if you aspire to be like them. It's a lot of people who are rich and miserable. It's a lot of people who pull up to their job every day with anxiety. Do what's best for you. I don't know why, but I feel so strong. Like this eclipse energy. It's going to, this is going to be major. 
and whatever is leaving your life you need to just let it leave friendships family relationships jobs please do not hold on to anything especially if you've been holding on to it because of a false belief or some false narrative that you read heard or been taught just let all of that go it's, it's really not serving you it's not serving any of us And don't be afraid to deny people access. Like, you don't have to let people have access to you. You don't have to prove yourself or anything. And don't be fooled by people, like I said, who <laughs> are very upset about the fact that even in their purpose, they are still the underdog. Nobody said that you become rich and famous for being in your purpose. You simply being obedient. Trial and error. Don't be afraid to try things. It's your life. Business here. Don't be afraid to start a business. Make a career change if you need to. Do the things that make you happy and make you feel successful. You have the answers card here. You're, something here is about to conclude. You're going to get clarity and confirmation. Closure from the past. Like Your problems are about to be over. Good news is coming in. You, you may receive emails, texts, phone calls, pop-ups. But like somebody is coming in with good news manifestation something that you've been trying to manifest is coming the birth of something some of you if you've been trying to conceive that may happen for you but there's new opportunities birth also you know death brings about birth re transformation you possibly are reinventing yourself there's you know an opportunity for you to start a, a new idea a project you know, some of you, I'm not telling you, hey, just go quit your job. But if you know that you're passionate about something, pursue it. See where it goes. See what happens. But don't let the naysayers stop you or block you. That's what the enemy is here to do is to always block you. There's new opportunities manifesting that bring about a lot of really good news for you. And you're in a, a stage in your life where you get to rebuild. You get to start over. You get to re rebuild your life after experiencing a lot of losses. So don't be afraid of what or who you lose. You need to be very determined and driven now to manifest this new reality. And don't worry about what anybody has to say. Chaos. Yeah. You have her death. There's about to be a death to all of this chaos. I'm telling you, something is being eclipsed out. You have here anger. <laughs> this chaos here. Some of these things, it's like you're being forced to be uncomfortable right now. <laughs> this card literally says you feel like you've been wrong. I promise that comment certainly made me feel like I have been wrong. I won't lie. <laughs> I don't get triggered by things, but that really tricked me because it's a, it's a karmic energy. That is just running around the collective right now. And when it when I saw it, I was like, oh, no. And I honestly didn't think about it until today. You know, my apologies for even giving it so much. But it's something that needs to be said for sure. You're like investing a lot of effort and energy into being your true authentic self. And then people come in because they're angry about the the. Their choices and decisions in life or, you know, the chaos or conflict that they're dealing with in their life. And all of a sudden, it's like they want to convince you that everything in your life is going to be a dead end because they can't seem to find the light. That's not your fault or your problem. You have the key to a better future. You're finding solutions. Doors that were previously closed for you, they're open wide. Now, if the door doesn't open, the windows are, are going up. Like, you have access. You are 
attracting abundance. You're attracting partnerships, relationships, opportunities. You are the phoenix. Rising from the flames, you have phoenix here, happiness, playfulness. Children, you're going back to a place of being childlike. Your finances will improve. Some of you want to start online businesses and you're worried or, you know, about should you open that online shop because you don't have much of a following. Everybody started with nothing. Yesterday was my three year anniversary. When I started on YouTube, my audio was terrible. My hands were shaking. I was redoing videos. I was clueless. I had no idea about how to be monetized on YouTube or anything. A million mile journey starts with a single step and don't let anybody talk you out of that. Take the step. I promise you, if you take the step, most likely they will get, they will get stuck, derailed and, and completely taken off track. You need to keep your Wi-Fi popping at all times. Stay on your path. Don't look back. Don't worry about what other people have to say. And if you have to keep turning around worrying about if somebody is stabbing you in the back, you need to make sure that they're not on your path with you. All of this disappointment and despair and depression, that energy is, is coming. It, it's being eclipsed out. And the, the enemy is upset because as soon as that energy is eclipsed out, everybody is going to start awakening to their higher self and their power. That's why the spiritual warfare is so bad right now. That's why you're experiencing so many obstacles and challenges and delays. You're going to have to be resilient and persevere because many of you, you are going into a period where you will be called to lead. The dating card is here. Some of you, you're going to be dating leaders. Once again, going, I'm telling you that that comment was there for a reason. People will try to tell you that you can't date a high value person or a public figure or someone who is extremely successful. It's a lot of people who are opposites who are going to attract. And you being fluid, you being someone who's adaptable, non-judgmental, having an open mind, being able to be like teachable and go with the flow but have your core values and intentions it's going to literally bring in ex like things that go beyond your wildest dreams honestly that's the feminine energy though being in a state where you understand how to receive and also like i said being very discerning not to make this about gender, but alpha men, they love very discerning women. It's a feminine energy that can guide a masculine along his journey, his path. The feminine energy, her intuition, this is the feminine energy that lioness behind this king of wands. She's a powerhouse. Her intuition, her discernment. Can tell this masculine at any point where to go, where to turn, when to duck, when to dodge, when to swing the flame, when to pass the torch. Like, don't, don't let people tell you that you're not worthy of things because it's a lot of kingdom marriages coming together. And these karmic people, they really do want to try to convince you that you can't, you can't be with a person of high value because they want to convince you that you're not of high value. If you're not doing what they're doing, if you didn't choose to sell your soul, you don't want to be a slave. So you have no value. So they say, <laughs> oh, these silly people. Anyway, you guys, I, I really hope that this encourages someone and inspires you. New beginnings are coming. Like I said, your life purpose, your life purpose is the reason why you're untapping, unrooting, like elevating, growing, ascending, evolving. Yeah. And you're protected. And look at this. 
another woman here carrying the entire universe. The universe is within the feminine. <laughs> Mother Earth. How you honor yourself, how you think about yourself, it's a frequency, it's a vibration that is sent out into the, the universe. Mother Earth gives us everything that we need. God has given us this earth. Mother Earth is here to provide us with a lot. The feminine, the true divine feminine energy carries the universe within him or her. And this is being protected. You have to protect your visions, your dreams, your goals, your aspirations, your mind, your emotions, your energy from a lot of people. Be mindful of your friendships too. Because some people, they don't need to be in your life. They're not true friends. Good luck. Yeah, protection and fertility. Some of you are literally, you're holding something that's going to open up the gates to a, new, a whole new world. For some, it's a business, it's a baby, but it, it requires protection. That's the reason, too, why right now God is eliminating all of these people from your life. Spirit is guiding you, saying, hey, just have trust. But right now, you need to free yourself. Set up boundaries. Free yourself from these negative people, these negative Nancys and naysayers. And yeah, free yourself. Boundaries. And look at that career. You're going to be blessed in your career or your business, whatever it is. But you need to trust your spirit guides are leading you to a new beginning where you can have good luck and be fortunate and happy. But you have to allow yourself now to trust that it is safe for you to come out of some type of lack mentality or this mental imprisonment. It's safe for you to leave that job. I'm not saying go and, and leave tomorrow, but at least come up with an exit plan or strategy for yourself. Yeah, because, yeah, you're being catapulted into your life purpose and your dreams you're having dreams about your purpose all you need is to have the confidence here and to set up boundaries don't let people tell you what you can and can't do do not settle for safe and you guys can look up the seven laws of spiritual success um I have the book, but it may not be here on my bookshelf, but you can probably even find a clip on YouTube where the book is summarized. It's a fairly small book, but it's a real gem. Um, but you know, you're, you're the alchemist. You're a master manifester. It's too bad that a lot of people like to judge books by, by their covers, but don't worry about it. It's game time. Game on for you. Don't worry about these people out here. They're ignorant. They're foolish. I'm going to, I think I'm going to leave it here. You guys, we had tarot church today. I, they just, I just, I just want to see everybody succeed. And like I say, success is different for every person. Success for one person may be being a, a millionaire or a billionaire. Success for another person is simply being able to wake up in the morning without an alarm clock and drink their favorite cup of coffee it's different for every person but nobody should define success for you but you and once you determine what success looks like for you if you don't feel like you're successful then you create the life that you want and don't worry about how other people judge you let them just be unhappy it's okay. I love you guys all so very much. I really hope that this resonated. I know that my tone today, <laughs> y'all, I'm, I, I'm, I really was upset. I feel a little bit better now. I really was upset. And it's interesting because the car is really was picking up that same energy. But there's so much jealousy, envy, and projection that is in the collective right now. You know, we have a full moon that's coming up in a few days. And I just protect yourself don't don't get caught up in all oh, people are attacking because act like none of that stuff even exists because the enemy cannot win or these entities can't survive if you don't feed it energy just act like it's not there act like it doesn't even exist 
be so focused on yourself, your goals, your dreams, your aspirations, your, your daily routines and habits that you can't even hardly tell when there is an attack coming your way. If you're constantly in motion and you're not standing stuck, still and stagnant, then those spiritual attacks, they, they won't affect you the same way. You're moving and shaking in the spirit room, but make sure that here in on the earth plane, you're doing the same thing. Be active, go out, explore, enjoy yourself. Don't sit and allow yourself to be idle where people can constantly send the evil eye towards you and project their own negative feelings and thoughts and, and mental anguish towards you. That's not your fault. And, and what they think is not your business either. You have great things coming in for you and the enemy is trying so hard to convince you that you don't. The devil is a lie. Okay, You did not work hard and go through all of these hardships and all of these hard knocks for you not to be rewarded with whatever is due to you. And I don't know about you, but I don't, I don't need to be recognized. I just want my rewards. You don't have to recognize me. As long as God recognizes me, I could care less about recognition. So, again, I love you guys. Always go within so that you never go without. Please stay prayed up and encouraged. And I will catch you on the next one. Bye.